Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Dom Dumas, and I'm in Bangkok. Angry News, episode 34. This is an episode that I really didn't want to make, but I, because I don't like talking about negative things, promoting negative things, and things, and and being angry about stuff, because I believe just let it go and things will be better, and learn from it, and you won't be angry. But I see it time and time again, and I've I've made a, a blog post about it over at my other website, and I'll leave a. a link to that in the show notes and you can find that at domdumas.com forward slash 34 um, and the reason I'm angry and why I call this angry news is I have a really big issue right now you know I mean in, in American football we have guys not standing up for the national anthem kneeling during the national anthem not not showing respect okay I can honestly accept that that you know that's their freedom of speech I'm fine with that well, no I'm not fine with it I'm fine with the fact that they have the right to express their own feelings and and to have the freedom of speech I'm not okay with what they're doing but that doesn't make me angry um, yes I find it disrespectful but it's their right they have the freedom of speech now the problem is I feel is, is the news and this goes to anything that they feel will get them more views will get them more likes will get them more subscribers whatever which is they like to promote things that make people feel angry that make people feel scared that make people feel threatened okay so a, 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 a extreme example of this is the, the shootings that have been going on all over the United States and, and the, the terrorist acts all over the world. See, and it's kind of, I feel, it's become a bit of a one-upmanship for these type of people. They see on the news, oh my God, this person got recognized. So now I can do the same thing, maybe a little bit bigger and a little bit better, and they're going to recognize me also. They're going to remember me. And people remember the names of these people or of these idiots, these terrorists, these angry son of a bitches, and I'm sorry for the language, but it really pisses me off. They remember these people, and everybody's, oh, remember this, remember that. But they talk, the news talks about who these people are. They say their names. They talk about it in the news all the time. Now, I'm not asking for censorship. I don't want censorship. But report the news and be done with it. That's it. You don't need to know who it is because by saying who it is, by promoting it, you're telling people that it's okay. Yeah, they get angry and everybody gets sad and everybody starts to cry, you know, because of these terrible things that have happened. And that's that's understandable, but they keep putting it on the news. They keep putting it on the TV. They keep putting it on the radio. They keep putting it on social media. They keep putting it in the newspaper. And all this does is it promotes people to do it again and again and again. And that's my problem because the, you know, and not only to do it again and again and again, but do it to, to do it a little bit bigger, to do it a little bit better, to do it a little bit more exciting for them, to get them more recognized because now they have to be better than the last person. Now they have to be more scary than the last person. Now they have to kill more people than the last person. And to me, that's promoting terror. Promoting terror creates terror. And that's what I, I feel. I feel that it's wrong. And it, and it drives me absolutely nuts. And this is one of the reasons why I don't read the news anymore because 90% of the news is all of this. 85% to 95% of the news is only promoting terror and disgusting things. Terrible things that happen to, to people all over the world. Now, to break away from that, these f football players, now the last preseason game that I know of, three fo one football player sat down Two football player, American football. Sorry for those those of my listeners that aren't American. 
American football. One person sat down on the bench and two players kneeled kneeled down. And then the previous week, one of the people that kneeled down, he sat on the bench. Okay, like I said before, that is absolutely your right with freedom of speech. I don't deny that. Do it. All you want. You want to do it for a just cause. Absolutely. Do that. You know, you know make your statements. Now, I personally feel that in their role during a sporting event it is not the correct place to promote the things that they feel are wrong or the injustices or trying to pr promote something that they th think needs corrected use your name absolutely use the fact that you're in american and the nfl absolutely but don't do it during game time. This is just my personal opinion. Okay, don't do it during game time. Now, to go along with that, the news talked all about it. You don't want these people to have power? Don't talk about it. You don't want these people to continue with an act that you feel is terrible and disgusting and disrespectful? Don't talk about it. Yes, report the news. Say, hey, the quarterback from such and such or the player the running back from such and such or the linebacker from such and such decided to do this and end it there there is absolutely no reason that they need to continue talking about it and not only do they talk about it they talk about they talk to the people who are getting upset about it so now they're giving these people more and more power they're giving these people the, the, the killers, the, the football players, and I don't mean to put them in the same classification. I don't. But with what's going on in the news and how the news is treating these people, and this is why I'm calling it angry news, with what, the reason, with all of this that's going on, it just promotes it. It gives it more power. And by giving it more power, that means it's going to happen again. And it's going to get bigger. It's going to get badder. It's going to get worse. You know, if you don't want it to happen, yes report the news but stop there they don't need to go on and, and oh this is this person and this is this person and this person did that and you need to be angry about it and they keep talking and they keep talking about it and they keep talking about it and what they're doing is they're making their listeners angry they're making their listeners scared they're making the public angry they're making the public scared and there's no reason for it I, I can remember reading newspapers in the 80s, in the late 80s and early 90s, and it wasn't like this. So to see it now happening, it just drives me absolutely crazy. And I personally feel I'm a really, really positive person. I love life. I love the things. I, I love promoting positivity. I love doing things that are good. I love doing things that make people feel good. But it just was a time that I finally felt I needed to make a stand. Not necessarily make a stand, sorry. I needed to say something because we give these people power by promoting them in the news. And people say, oh, that's not promoting it. We're telling the news. No, you're not telling the news. You're promoting what you feel is terrible. You're promoting terroristic acts. You're promoting disgusting facts. You're promoting disturbing facts. And I see it all the time on Facebook. I see it all the time in Twitter. I see it all the time in the newspaper. I hear about it in the news. I see it on TV. I don't actually, I don't even watch the news on TV anymore and I haven't for a very long time for that simple fact. I don't read the newspaper anymore for that simple fact because most of the newspapers, most of the news, and I don't listen to the radio news, most of it is promoting these things that people that they don't they say the news says we we tell people because we don't want them to continue this we don't want them to do this we don't want them to do that but what they're doing is they're promoting it they're making they're giving these people power to do it more do it more make it bigger make it worse make it more terrible and it absolutely drives me nuts and I think as a as society as a whole should start holding our news agencies accountable. I'm not asking for censorship. Absolutely. Promote the news. Do the news. But don't only promote terror. Don't only promote stupidity. 
Don't only promote things that are disturbing. You know, find things that are good. Promote things that make life better. Yes, when something terrible happens, prom put it in the news. Absolutely. But then let it end there. We don't need to know the names of these people because by doing that, all we are doing is giving them power. And the more we talk about them in the news, the more we're going to talk about them outside the news. The more we're going to talk about them in our daily lives. Why? All it does is give these people power. But if you keep shoving it down their throats, people are going to continue talking about it. So it's people stop watching. Well, don't stop watching the news, but talk to your your local news companies. You know, find ways to get them to change what they're talking about. Stop promoting the terror. Stop promoting the stupidity. I'm really sorry. This has been a bit of a, a ranting podcast. It's going to be a really short one, but I really felt I needed to get this out there because it's been driving me a little bit batty for quite a long time. And I can let it go most of the time, but with what's going on in the American football, it, kept, it just kind of brings it back to light. And it, and it makes me... People say, oh, he shouldn't be doing that. But yeah, you're right. Okay, he shouldn't be doing that. But he has the freedom of speech, which allows him to do that. I have no issues with that, none whatsoever. But by the news promoting it, by the news broadcasting it, the way they do in the manner and in the fashion that they're doing it, what they're doing is they're promoting it. They're giving them power. They're giving them more power to do it again. And now we're going to get more people doing it even more. So, if, for example, the, the, the first time that happened, a person sat down on the sidelines. Next week, three people did it. What's going to happen during the first week of the American football season? And how is the news going to handle it? Stop promoting it. Stop promoting it. Do the news. Absolutely. I have no issues with doing the news. But don't give these people power. The way you're promoting it, you're giving them power. If they have an issue that they want to talk about, talk to them outside of the particular field that's of, of the game off the field not during a game don't go oh my god he's doing it again oh my god look at look at everybody look at him he's doing it stop you're giving him power you're justifying what he's doing and if you keep justifying it and you keep giving power to it he's going to do it and more and more people are going to do it i'm sorry i really apologize for the rant it drives me it but it's been driving me crazy and I'm gonna end this show there and what I want you to do is I want you to always remember whenever you get angry or whenever you get upset think about the people you love instead and release that anger and then learn from it what about it made you angry all right thanks a lot I'll see you next time bye bye please rate my show or leave a comment or make suggestions of what you would like me to talk about you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Dom Dumas, on Twitter at Dom Dumas, and on Instagram, Dom underscore Dumas. Thanks a lot. <laughs>